Yep. Talk to me. How was that? Emotional. <laughs> Emotional. <laughs> Last year I was heartbroken. This year I'm looking at the starting lineup and I'm like, is this actually going to work? I mean, no Casemiro in the team at all. And then the way we played, Amrabat controlling the midfield, Mainu, energy, Anana pulling off saves. I'm like, where's this Man United been all season? And we're going up against the champions and we dominated them. We absolutely dominated them, mate. That's it. Like what you said there, where has this Manchester United been? It's not solely down to injuries. We know that. But having Leitcher back in this team, is this what this is all about? It is, isn't it? It is. It is having that leadership at the back. He's a leader, mate. And we've seen when he partners himself with Varane, we've got two of the best centre-backs in the world. Literally. And now, because we've had so many injuries this season, when they're out of the team, it shows... I guarantee you, if we had Leitcher and Varane for the majority of the season, we would have made top four. We wouldn't have been conceding all those goals. So basically what you're saying is Ten Hag is right, that them injured defenders make a difference. Yeah, we've had, what, 45 injuries this season, more than anyone else, and Ten Hag has still managed to get us to another final and win. I'm telling you now, I know I've been on his back a lot this season, but we have got to give him another chance. There's one result, I promise you. A promising season next season. Is that enough after what we witnessed in the Premier League? Because the dust will settle mm. and the emotion will will calm away. But is it enough? Have you seen enough in one game? Let's not forget Varane is leaving as well. Yeah. We've got to make the right changes. I know there's going to be a huge clear out. Contracts have not been handed out to a lot of players. So I expect more than five players to leave this summer. If we're going to bring in top talent to replace big names like Varane, I believe in the project. I'm going to keep hope. I can't completely lose hope. I'm going to give Ten Hag another chance. Does that mean that he gets another contract, Dom? Is, that, is it a case of back him or sack him? If he stays, he needs a new deal. Definitely. I think he's got another year left on his contract. Give him another deal. Give him, even if they sign him with another two-year contract with a one-year extension, three years, we've got to give him a chance. We need stability. We can't keep chopping and changing managers. What he's done with this much pressure in two seasons, we've got to give him another go. Talk to me about our young lads today. Academy graduates of the last two years, last two Premier last two youth team graduates that have won play with a season in Garnacho first, then Cobby Mainu, match winners today. Talk to me. The future's bright, isn't it? We've been doing this for decades, mate. We can go all the way back to the class, the class of 92. We can go back to 2002, 2003. We've been doing this for decades. And to see these two come through, it's what Man United's about. It's about youth. Yes, we will buy experienced players, but bringing through youth, seeing what the future looks like with Ganacho and Mainu, we've got to keep them long term. Those are contracts I'm definitely going to be renewing. They've been amazing this season. They stepped up at such a young age to look with play with no fear. The future's bright, mate. Future's bright, the future's red. I'm not going to say orange. That was just a carnival line that we could have said there then. But uh, and Arno, another player under criticism. Big, big moments, big saves today. A lot. It was a few criticising the one that went in, but he made some blinders today, didn't he? He did. I think there was a, a shot from Kyle Walker. There was quite a few long-range ones, and he had to tip them over. Luckily, Holland's chance hit the post and came back out. But you know, I did question Anana at the start of the season because to let a club legend like De Gea go and bring an honour in, a ball-playing goalkeeper, when we've not really got the players to do it. You know, it looked like a wrong move, but this year he has turned it around and hopefully this will give him the confidence to kick on next season. Recruitment, 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 mate. It's all about the spending though, isn't it? We need to make the right signings, don't we, in the summer now to back this up. Because last season we did well, we got a trophy, we got Champions League, we didn't recruit right. This season under Ineos and the new structure, all eyes now are on them. It is, the pressure's on. They control the football inside. I believe that we are going to bring the right players in now. You know, we've got um, Omar Barada, we've got Wilcox. Ash, when he does eventually come over, we've needed footballing people for a long time and we're not going to get ripped off when it comes to certain deals anymore. We're not going to be overpaying for players and paying stupid wages. I believe that this summer is massive. The window's going to be open for, what, two, three months and I just trust that Sir Jim is going to make the absolute best of it. Go on, give us a man of the match then. Eh? Before we go, who's having it? This is a tough one. Hardest question of the season, actually, because we've seen a performance today. We have. We have. <laughs> you know, three players stand out today in Mainu, Amrabat and Anana. Do you know what? I'm going to give it to Amrabat. I love his energy today. Yep. I, I cannot fault that decision at all, Aid. Pleasure, Pleasure mate. <laughs>